Hey soul family, what's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. My name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. And I'm doing the darn thing today for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. This is going to be a very general reading for you guys. So please keep that in mind. What general means is that anything can really come out in this reading. Um, so I'm going to pull all the energy that I possibly can to talk about with you. We may land on one particular topic. We may not um, and general also means that you take whatever resonates for you and you leave what doesn't, okay? Always use your own intuition for your highest good. Um, I mean, I'm working for your highest good, but uh, use your intuition, okay? You know what these messages mean for you guys, all right? So take them as they resonate. If nothing resonates in your sun sign, then please feel free to check your moon rising and your Venus signs. And if those do not tickle your pickle, Sagittarius, feel free to dig in the crates and see if there's something in there for you, okay? Digging in the crates means looking through the old stuff, all right? Last but not least, guys, if you like this video, if any of it resonates for you at all, show your girl some love by smashing the love button for me and subscribing if you're new here. And if you're new here, welcome. Um, it is very nice to meet you. Sorry, cat hair on my face. Um, it is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back again. It's great to see you fam. All right, let's dive into here. Uh, try to stick through the reading. If you can, guys, I have some Oracle that I pull at the end of this. Actually, I already pre shuffled and pulled and I will be reading those as what I meant to say. All right. I don't know my head sometimes. Phew, because I'm like in the energy. I don't know. Okay, let's get going. All right, what do we have here for Sagittarius? We're going from August 1st to the 16th. I may have put 15th though, so we're going to the 15th. All right. All right, thank you so much, Spirit. What do we have here, please, for Sagittarius? What's going on for Sagittarius? August 1st to the 15th, thank you. Oh boy, Knight of Swords, Nine of Wands. <sighs> Interesting, guys. What's going on with you? Uh, do you have somebody coming in and out of your life? Have you been letting your guard down and somebody's back again? What's going on here? What do we have here for Sag? Is this whole deck upside down? That's bizarre. I've never gotten two cards in a row like that that are in reverse page of pentacles in reverse oh boy this is interesting what's going on with Sagittarius please the death card scorpionic energy okay are you guys rejecting an offer from somebody what's going on here what do we got for Sagittarius thank you yeah I know better now all right mm-hmm Okay. In the recent past, I feel like you guys did not set boundaries with somebody. Okay. Um, excuse me. Maybe they, maybe they made you feel like you could put your guard down, but I, I feel like there was somebody that's kind of like Knight of Swords. They were either really pushy and just sort of like weaseled their way in there um, and were really super stressful or they were coming in and out of your life because this is very, uh, it's very like, I want to almost say destructive, but this is the kind of person who sort of leaves a, a, a wake of like, you know, tornadoville when they come and go right? It's like they come, they use things up, the tornado's there and then boom, they're gone. And you can like literally feel their energy like stuck out of the room. Okay. I feel like there's somebody that's been a huge distraction in your life that's been coming in and out of it. Um, and you, I feel like there was a lot of damage done in this. Okay. And it's like, like you're like you're recovering from that okay like you compromised your integrity to be with this person they made you feel like it like you could let your guard down you know get to know them or let them in and and it's just like 
it seems like when you did that, suddenly the chaos ensued, okay? Like the chaos ensued. With the Page of Pentacles in reverse, it feels a little bit like not having learned the lesson, right? Like, so you let it happen more than once for some of you. Maybe some of you, this was just one time and you decided after this, like, I do not want to be in this commitment. Like, this is some bullshit, okay? Uh, whatever it was, we have Scorpio energy sent, uh, sending up, uh, showing up for you guys. And what this is saying to me is that whatever this recent relationship is or was, there was a lot of change that happened here, okay? And there's an ending for sure. I'm going to read more, okay? What else do we have for Sagittarius, please? Thank you. Page of Swords. Yeah, messages coming through. Somebody maybe even spying or watching you, but there's a lot of truth talk happening here in the future uh, we also have two of cups but i'm going to talk about that in a second some of you could be going through something financially somebody could have lost a job here maybe you were going for a position that you did not get offered all right um a lot of you are trying to release these old hurts I feel like right now, um, and make changes in your life. Okay. And you're like rushing toward it. Like you're doing this very quickly. All right. So you may have, uh, recently cut somebody off or something like that in your life. And it doesn't have to be romantic. If there are people, friends and stuff that come in and out of your lives and every time they come, the, the, like the chaos ensues. You know, it gets to a point where you're like, look, do I really need this connection in my life, right? It makes me feel bad about myself. It makes me feel uncomfortable. You know, I feel like I'm always having to surrender uh, a part of myself for whatever relationship this is, and I don't feel like it, okay? This offers me nothing, Page of Pentacles in reverse, okay? There's no integrity here. The person, I can't trust them. Okay, not even a little bit. This could be your kids too. You may have had some issues uh, with trusting your children. Maybe your child has been uh, taking money or something like that, not being honest about something, all right? Uh, but this, it's, for me, is dishonesty, okay? We have the hermit uh, here, Virgo energy. So this is telling me that, um, you know, you guys may be in like, you know, hermit mode, like, kind of staying away from people, working yourself out energetically, you're keeping your thoughts to yourself, you know, you're really learning from whatever you've been dealing with here recently. Um, and I think it's just like the elevation for you. There's a sense of like, I'm better than that, right? I'm, I know that I'm better than that. Why did I settle for that? Why did I allow the chaos, you know, of this particular person, whether it's a romantic relationship or not, it could even be somebody in your family, like your brother or your cousin, okay? Um, why do I let this happen, all right? But I feel here you have the Knight of Wands, so you're dating again, okay? Some of you may still be working out some of this energy, but what I feel like is you're going to be dating again if you're not. Um, you're getting your energy back here, Okay, you're getting your energy back. It is Sagittarian energy, Knight of Wands. So it's you really being in yourself after taking time to have a time out after ending this relationship. It could have been the other person who ended it. It could have been you. I don't know who it is. You know what I'm saying? I only just read and I'm not picking up that it was the other person. I'm actually picking up for many. It is you who ended this relationship, okay? And look what's happening here. You're out dating, you're out looking good and bam two of cups all right so you have some sort of soulmate connection coming in here now i want to say this there's something about this soulmate connection and i'm going to clarify this too this is just what i'm feeling for some of you if you've already met this person they're not jumping into a relationship with you and i want to see if we can find out why that is like they're not really offering a commitment maybe they just want to date right now and maybe there's a very powerful connection that's happening here and this person maybe you or them want to learn more okay about this connection you want to have conversations deeper conversations honest conversations some of you may be trying to direct conversations to like so the color blue, 
what's with that being your favorite color, you know, but you're, you're digging a little deeper. All right. Um, for some of you, you have some gossip. Okay. You have some gossipy people that are around you, uh, you know, and like, this could be a friend that you've been dealing with. They're like a big time shit talker. Okay. So be aware of that. Let's talk about overall energy, please, for Sagittarius. Overall energy for Sag right now. Ah, oh, shucky duck, the emperor. That is boss mode. Some of you may be um, in boss mode, like you're really taking control over your life, okay? Uh, you're really getting things together. Aries uh, is also the full card, okay? So Aries represents beginnings. It is actually the first sign in the zodiac. That's where the uh, the actual chart begins is an Aries, okay? And so this is Aries energy. This is like you coming out of your shell, the, uh, like a new you, okay? Finally getting back out there, feeling really good, feeling creative, feeling fun, looking sexy, out here being badass flossing, okay? Uh, you know, and all of the Sagittarians that I know, and I don't know if this is true for everybody, but all the Sages that I know are very like fun, you know, fun, creative people. And it could be that you felt very turned around by um, a recent experience you had, okay? And things might have just been really super hectic in your life, like a lot of things happening all at once. So it's like you couldn't even kind of like, you know, uh, protect yourself or guard yourself from stuff. Things are just coming in every direction, okay? A lot of things that you were looking forward to coming through seem to not come through, but that energy is changing here, okay? There's a there's a, more of this taking control, chess moves, you know? Uh, Aries is very good at, uh, you know, calculating, knowing the next move, right? Being in a boss mode. Bottom of the deck, we have the freaking, yo, you're surrounded by Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries right now, uh, for sure. You could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, kind of anybody, but those are the stronger energies that I'm feeling, especially the Aries. So what did I just say? The emperor is literally representing presented by Aries and Aries is also the full card. It's the beginning. It's a leap of faith. Deep down, maybe some of you are scared to take a leap of faith. Maybe this is about trusting, right? This is about trusting the new beginning, right? Trusting the timing of new beginnings and how beautiful they can be because I feel like you have a new beginning here, okay? Let's talk about the challenge right now for Sagittarius. Thank you. Challenge. Balance everything being in balance, juggling your mind being back and forth. So making decisions, okay? Decisions that you need to make. What else is a challenge? What else might be a challenge here for Sagittarius? Thank you. Judgment. Mm. Okay. So this can be about forgiveness, okay? Judgment can very much speak into forgiving somebody, all right, so somebody may be wanting forgiveness. This also can represent somebody who wants to resurrect something, okay? So your challenge could, for some of you, be do you want to resurrect something with somebody? You might be going back and forth about like, hey, do I want to talk to this person? Maybe you were the bad guy in this situation. Oh, I shouldn't say bad guy. Maybe you, maybe you were the, the person who did something in this particular connection. Maybe you were, you know, the tornado of madness, okay, and, and like confusion, because that's how a knight of swords is. It just, and then you're like, what the fuck just, what just happened here, right? So your challenge, one, could be forgiveness and healing and forgiving yourself, okay, for making the kind of decisions you might have made in this connection or deciding to be in this connection, whatever it is that you might be feeling grief over, okay? Because I feel like this person really turned you upside down, all right? So, taking a new leap of faith and i think there's something else for you i want to mostly find out what this knight of swords is please what's this knight of swords i might take that card that's sticking out right there yeah yeah temperance 
Knight of Cups in reverse. So here you got a person uh, around you that's emotionally manipulating you, right? I feel almost like the angel devil energy. We have temperance there. Okay. So uh, healing, balance, you know, and not, and not just that, but like, I think a lot's happened with whoever this energy is or just in your life in general. A lot of you are healing from, uh, you know, people coming in and out, things being a bit of a tornado or, or what have you. You might have been emotionally manipulated by this person because they know that you're very kind and they know that you're very forgiving and that you're a healer. Okay, Sagittarius, I think a lot of you are healers. And I know, hand raised, as a healer, we tend to get a lot of narcissistic weirdo types, okay, that want to like control, you know, uh, manipulate the mind, stuff like that, okay. I think that maybe you fell out of love with this person. This person could have fell out of love with you, or maybe you just came to the realization that you're being emotionally manipulated. This person is not who they say they are. They behave differently from what they actually say, right? Um, Cause words are just words. This whole deck, do I have it upside down? Yeah, I do. Oh my goodness. And two of those came. One's right and one is upside down. Uh, everything happens for a reason. Okay, yeah. So this person, it's like a false start, right? Ace of Rods in, in the reverse. Something just didn't work the way it was supposed to, okay? This new beginning that you were supposed to have, it feels like it got put on hold, okay? And this puts you into hermit mode here, all right? Virgo energy. Um, it's like... I think for some of you, there like I, I keep getting like a false start, like something was supposed to be a new beginning and it just threw you for a loop, okay? And then it made you go into hermit mode. You were like, oh my gosh, you know, am I stupid? No, I'm not saying that you would, you know, but you get what I'm saying. Like, am I crazy? Like, do I keep, why do I keep making this mistake? Why do I do these things? Am I, you know, am I crazy? Like, you get what I'm saying. I hope you do. Okay. Let's see why the page of pentacles is in reverse. Okay. That was weird. Justice, three of cups. Yeah. You could have cut this person off. Maybe this person cut you off too. <clears throat> Excuse me. With the justice card and the three of cups and the page of pentacles in reverse. What I'm feeling like is this person wanted to kind of you know, date around, stuff like that, okay? Yes, celebration. Some of you could have rejected this person's offer or, you know, told them, listen, I don't want anything to do with you. I don't even want friendship. You need to keep it moving, whatever. I need you out of my life. You're dishonest. There's no relationship happening here, okay? I am going to cut this off and I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going out with my friends, which is what it looks like here. You're celebrating. Actually, some of you could be celebrating an actual divorce, okay? So I could see you out here with your girls. Some of you, though, um, you may have got a rejection on like a, an offer, like an offer, counter offer type thing. If you are going through some sort of like splitting of the assets, there may be something that you're not getting. Uh, maybe some of you need to um, work, work something out with child support. Okay. Work something out with child support here. It could be alimony, like you're getting child support, but you won't get alimony or something, you know, like, I don't know. I think that there's something that has to do with money or you might be getting a smaller amount of money than you thought you were going to be able to get from this divorce. Okay. I have not just heard like best money I ever spent to like get somebody out of my life or something. Okay. Why is death and rebirth here? Thank you. Scorpionic energy. Okay, so we have the four of pentacles. So somebody didn't want something to end or doesn't want something to end here. There could be that somebody too is like being really super frugal or even greedy, okay? I guess sort of like a possessiveness, okay? Um, but what else do we have here, please, with death? 
the magician. Um, I, I feel like somebody really wants an ending. They're trying to manifest change when it comes to quite possibly a financial situation. Uh, maybe it's that your person uh, has been like trying to hang on to the connection to here. Okay. Uh, four of pentacles you know he's he could be a bit of a roadblock you know what i'm saying like very possessive and i don't it's weird i it's one of my least favorite cards in the deck is that weird to say out loud for me it feels that way but um there could be the ending of some kind of financial support as well all right and now somebody's like oh my gosh where am i going to get this money from somebody might need money and there's an end to uh, like a stream of income okay whether that's through a divorce or some other means why do we have the hermit here please why is the hermit here <sighs> yeah we got page of pentacles eight of wands i feel like some of you might be on a dating app like on the internet or something like that you could be talking to somebody here at a distance um, this person could be younger than you, page of pentacles. You may have children too that live at a distance, okay? With the hermit, the eight of wands, the page of pentacles, this is like laying low, you know what I mean? Like I said, you know, taking time for the self, being kind of in your man cave or she shack, spending time alone, focused on your money, uh, maybe communicating, doing a lot of communicating. You could be traveling or even moving here too. But what I'm seeing with the Page of Pentacles is like, you know, the beginning of something, the learning of something, uh, and the exchange of like communication that might have to do with somebody trying to like really be your friend first, right? Like be your friend. Okay, why do we have the Knight of Wands? We know that this could be dating. This is also you guys feeling really good. Why is this Knight of Wands here, please, for Sagittarius? A lot of my readings are going long, guys, so stick around. Yeah, there's something emotionally walking away with from, from something with the Eight of Cups. Yeah, letting go of the pain, okay? There's something here, Knight of Wands. This is you, I just got like how Stella got her groove back or like you getting your mojo back, right? You're letting go of the past, walking away from, from this emotional pain, okay? Really trying to heal, right? Releasing the betrayal, letting it all go. You might have a friend here actually that you're talking to at a distance, one of your friends that lives far away. It could be uh, maybe a love of interest for you too but this is really supporting you and in, in allowing you to release this bad juju that you have with this person okay so that you can heal fully emotionally because we out of mofa we got a two of cups coming through okay i need to know why the two of cups is here what's this about i already know it's a beautiful relationship but tell me yes queen of cups bam love like for sure for sure sorry get notifications on my thing why do we have two of cups here please two of cups thank you a knight of rods okay again dating right okay dating uh you know being in the energy of uh you know exchanging love and emotion okay you could be dealing with somebody who's cancer pisces scorpio or another fire sign aries leo sagittarius but i think this is you dating connecting with somebody okay there's a lot of passion here um this person could be very ambitious there's a lot of love nurturing caring um you know unconditional vibration here okay with whatever you're coming up on and and that's because you're fully letting go of that other stuff for for many of you okay you're letting go and in letting go you have this beautiful new relationship that's coming through why do we have page of swords remember we talked about learning about this person right learning about this person queen of swords in reverse Mm, some of you might feel that this person might be uh being dishonest with you for some reason um, let's see what else, what else? Why do we have this page of swords here? Two of cups. Listen, 
you are not trying you okay you don't want any lies you don't want any deceit i think you're being really clear about that you're expressing it to this person you are not in the mode okay or maybe you need to know to not be in the cutting a bitch mode okay because we have queen of swords there and i always look at the energy of these things being upright okay because sometimes that helps me filter through why it's in the reverse all right before you go <laughs> before you decide to make any major decisions about this don't i think you're trying to learn okay because you might feel that this person is being dishonest and that's that old shit that might be creeping up for you okay based on the relationship you had before where somebody could have been dishonest and running in and out okay this is very much a soulmate connection i got the two of cups coming out twice all right you're learning a lot from this person they might have you very much surrendering any kind of negative thinking too they are very open to talking, sharing. They're very passionate. They're very good looking, charming, uh, a lot of fun probably, okay? Let's talk about why we have two of pentacles and the judgment as the challenge. <sighs> Five of wands in reverse, why else? wheel of fortune okay this is this is timing all right um you know don't don't fight with yourself okay don't this is like letting go of the jealousy if you're hanging on to any of it this is letting go of any of that conflict that you have with yourself okay you there's like that decision there with the two of pentacles this is a decision to let go like any of the drama keeping the drama out of your life okay uh wheel of fortune is telling me that better things are coming for you here okay you have to there's like a timing all right, so maybe you want forgiveness from your person or your person wants forgiveness for, from you. The challenge here, um, you know, is to allow yourself to let go and to forgive, okay? And you got to decide that you don't want to go back to any of this drama, all right? Because you got, listen, you got good things coming here, Sagittarius. Don't sabotage it, all right? Don't sabotage it. Why is the emperor here as overall energy? And some of you too, I feel like this is something that's saying, don't try to like, don't try to push too much for something. Give it time. Give it time. That's the message I'm getting. Okay. Uh, the emperor with the four of swords, like I said, this is you bossing up, right? But after taking a break and healing, all right, there's somebody here that you are not talking to as well. It's most likely this person. All right. So, uh, like I said, at the bottom of the deck, the energy that is probably your subconscious is a leap of faith. It's about new beginnings, right? It's about new beginnings. Your challenge is going to be not going back to this bullshit. All right. Cause you already released this energy. There's no more drama there or whatever that's happening in your life. Your challenge is going to be allowing the process to happen and stop trying to decide over things when you're still learning about a person. Okay. Give it some time, give it some time. All right, just don't push it. I'm getting this. Don't, I actually see this. Like, don't push it. Maybe literally don't push somebody. I don't know, Sag. Okay, so my, for my Oracle cards, I have the community card. Let's talk about it. I know how corny I am. I literally have like the dad Kansas City snapback on. You guys don't have to remind me. <laughs> if you're still here, smash the love button. All right, guys. I literally feel like I have cat hair straight up my nose. That's the worst thing about having a really super fuzzy cat. Okay, connection with kindred spirits. Yes. This card shows three women celebrating, sharing ideas, and supportive energy. The lights in the picture represent your ever-present spirit community as well. 
When this card appears upright, it indicates an association of some kind. It may be a casual connection of like-minded people. So some of you could be joining groups, maybe chatting with a lot more people, getting out a little bit more, okay? Um, joining a club or a community of some sort, maybe a book club, uh, or even a business partnership consisting of three or more entities. The time is right to make such new connections and to share intentions, whether they're personal or professional. Networking and community are important parts of the human experience and the security and sense of connection can be beneficial to all. It's true that when several people join their intentions, it accelerates their power in the energetic realm. Receiving this card puts you on notice that the universe is sending some beneficial alliances your way. Like the happy family card, this could indicate a party celebration of some kind, okay? Remember I said I do see some celebrating here, okay? That something's ending or being cut off. It could be some sort of contract as well, okay? Uh, since it is, justice can represent, it's Libra energy representing legal things, okay? So... There may have been something where it's like, you know, uh, an offer, maybe somebody bid on something and their offer was rejected and they took yours instead. Boom. Okay. So you guys are celebrating. Now, when it comes to love, we have attraction, of course. Uh, this says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I think a lot of you have been going through the healing process, okay? And you're out here, like I said, flossing, looking attractive. Why? Because you're healing, right? You have healed. You let that stuff go, okay, from the past. You might have been really affected by whatever relationship this is, or maybe you've been going through something that has to do with partnerships and work. Um, and like being in the present, being in the now, where you can be because you've been working on your healing, it is very attractive, okay? And it says it is safe for you to love, all right? You have a, a beautiful connection coming in. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. We all know that, right? Yeah, look, these were in the pre-shuffle, guys. That's why I said stick around. You got self-worth and recovery. So you are recovering from something. Some of you might have actually been sick. I hope you're healthy and you're well um, and your recovery goes well. Some of you may have had surgery recently too. Um, but this is a very spiritual kind of recovery. This is like you know, having gone through an experience that maybe, you know, nobody's really ready to go through drama and shit, but, um, you weren't bargaining for that. Okay. You weren't bargaining for that. And maybe you weren't bargaining for you being a different person in this particular connection for some of you. Okay. It might've had a lot to do with your self-worth. It might've, you know, uh, push you off your throne, so to speak, made you feel like you were less than or whatever. Or maybe you started thinking that this person could have even maybe told you, you won't, you ain't shit or some crazy stuff like that. You tell me who they are and I'll come to their house. Okay. So, um, yeah, they might've just jostled your whole, uh, value of self and your self-worth, or some of you are really thinking like, you know, where's my, where's my value of myself if I let that happen in my life? Okay. So you could be reviewing that, but all in all, it feels like you guys are scared and nervous about, you know, uh, a new beginning, but you're ready for it and you've been working toward it. And I do see somebody coming in here. So this is a really beautiful energy and I really like this Sag. So that's where we end. I know I went a little bit longer today. I'm just in the mood. It is my birthday month. My birthday is on the 9th. So, um, you know, shout out to anybody who's Leo cross watcher, baby. Um, but I wish you all the best Sagittarius. If any of this resonated for you, please smash my love button. Show me some love, like do all the things, subscribe, uh, share it, uh, comment down below. I love talking to you guys. All right. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.